tale of the tape for these two big fellas, both coming in at 26 years of age, and you can see they are both mammoths. 6'5", 260 and 266. Uh, Juan Adams having to cut a bunch of weight to get down to 266. Mark Smith is our referee for the first fight of the evening. Sean, first round ready? Juan, ready? Oh, Anthony oh, Kiedis in the house. There you go. Red Hot Chili Peppers fame. That is a big time UFC fan. 226, just, he was sitting in the front row right behind I mean, Dana. That's when you know you got a legit MMA fan who's just obsessed with this sport when he wants to go out of his way to come and see these young and up and coming guys. Ooh, Ooh good. Straight landed there by Teed Adams in the red. Watch the fingers, Sean. Teed in the, the gray or clay color trunks. Yeah, and I was talking to Teed's coach earlier today, and all he talked about was how much he's really worked on his kickboxing. So we'll see if he can pull some of that off tonight and use that to set up some takedowns to get this fight down to the mat. But he's eating some big punches right, right, right now. Right. Good combination strung together there by Juan Adams. He's got a clinch. He's even got a pull guard at this point. He can't eat too Sean's many more punches back. like that from Adams. He's just getting his head. Oh, nice right hand though from T. Absolutely. He's swinging. He's, he's, he's a like, little wobbly. Yeah, definitely. He's I mean, he ate at least 10 straight shots to the head there up against the fence, but he's, he's, he's got him down a little bit here. He's got to try to just hook onto that leg and get desperate, because if he wants this fight on the mat, he's got to do whatever he can to avoid getting these shots from Adams. And this is, not, in my opinion, not where he wants to be right now. Well, Make sure catch him there. so heavy on top. His ground Look at that. Down, landed his wow. Three consecutive. Up or down? Up or down? Get up. There you go, Deep. ref. Ref gave him a choice yeah. there. Wow. Let's go, fight! Team looks worn out already. Yeah, I, I, I think these punches, I don't even think, this is where cardio, people will be like, oh, he looked tired. But when you get punched in the head repeatedly, you're not feeling yourself. And it takes away your equilibrium. You start panicking. They're both 6'5", they're both 260-ish, but you can just tell that Juan Adams has that bigger frame and carries more weight. So strong there in the octagon. Even these little hammer fists from Adams he, he look like they're doing damage to Teed right now. Yeah, he, he's eating some big ground and pound shots. Beautiful job here from Adams, just constantly. And you can tell he's not, he's not over swinging with this stuff. He's just snapping his head back every time with these punches. Teed can be very dangerous off the back. Four wins by submission, all by that key lock, that Teed lock. Yeah, he's, he's, he's fishing for a, obviously he wants his angle, he wants to try to go for a heel hook here. But with a guy the size of, uh, of Adams, I think he's just gonna be able to sit through Sean, and let's go. Bye, bye. Pound. He's got, Sean Teed's, he, he's got a heel hook. I don't know how deep it is right now. He's gotta be able to try to get around the, the actual heel of Adams and hook it, but this is, He's, he's got the, oh, he slipped out. That was close right there from, from T. That's his special. And it's keeping Adams off of him. This is what Adams needs to do, get out of there. And, and, and T needs to be able to get wrist control, occupy the hands of Juan Adams, or he's he's not even gonna be able to come out for the second Go round. Time, move, fight back. You could see what Adams was talking about in that piece. He's, Heard that Teed was, was good on his back. Make sure you catch it there, That's Juan. just fine with me. Yeah, if you want to stay there and work. Good in top position. Yeah, and you can see that. He's, a lot of guys get comfortable, and they want to just kind of hold on to you. And it's 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 hard to even give a problem with that because it's when you're in there, when you're actually in the fight, everything's so dangerous and scary and submission. So sometimes you see guys that say, oh, I'm in a good position. I want to hold it. We don't see that from Adams. He's been relentless with ground and pound since the opening bell. It, it seems that every punch is doing damage. He wants three in a row, the hammer fists are raining down on Sean T. Yeah, what T needs to do is, I know he wants to be on the mat, but he's gotta get control of something. He's gotta somehow Go stop time, the move, posturing of Adams, because he's just eating punch after punch here. There you go, he, he at least tried to control the neck there, but. He looks for. Second left, he tried to get to his feet, but now Adams has his oh, back. Bad. It's, it, the angle's not quite there, but with a guy as strong as Adams, he might be able to pull off and just, this is what he needs to do. Stop, stop, he stop, 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 stop. He pretty much gave up there, I think. Wow. wow impressive. What a Super display impressive. from Juan Adams, the 26-year-old from Houston coming in as a minus 450 favorite, and I think you can see why there.
Oh, yeah, Teed is still down. He, he's, he felt every single one of those punches from Juan Adams. This guy's only been a pro for 11 months. <laughs> Imagine what he's going to be like when he, when he really learns mixed martial arts. All right, here we go. And I mean, Juan Adams just straight punches, too. These are, he's not winding up. He's not overthrowing these punches on Teed. Here we go, beautiful ground and pound. He controls him. He's sitting on that leg in half guard and just unloading. And just as soon as Teed would adjust, he moves with him or he stands back up. He's got him pressed up against the fence here and just hammer fist punches. And look at here, Teed, I think he might tap here. I think the ref got in, but you see Teed was, he had had enough anyway. I mean, you can't even blame him for this. He, I don't think he was there from the first exchange. He was fighting uphill the entire time. How about the pace for a guy who is that large? My goodness, that was unbelievable. Laura Sanko's in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this bout at four minutes and 17 seconds of round number one, declaring your winner by TKO, Juan Adams. Yeah!